I read somewhere that you are the youngest of ten children. Um, no, I was the youngest of nine. Nine. But two passed away when, okay. when they were little babies, so there were seven of us growing up. But actually, my mum used to mind a, a lot of um, my, my friends, uh, my neighbour's kids. Yeah. So there was always about, and we had loads of friends, so there was always about 20 kids in the house when I was growing up. It was so busy. It was lots of fun. So that's why for you, is it for you then also more important to have a... I, I think so. Yeah, because uh, four like, children now. Yeah, I like, um, I like lots of kids. It's yeah. cool, you know. Noel, Mike and Fergal, have they heard the album yet? I don't know. No? I have no idea. Do you still speak to them? Or? No, not that much. We, our relationship was more like based on the Cranberries and the music we wrote and stuff. So then when we stopped working as a band, then we kind of stopped hooking up, basically, you know. But uh, sometimes if something pops up, if somebody wants to use a Cranberry song or something, we call each other and say, hey, do you want to do this? Or you yeah. offer it. Um, and Noel talks to my husband uh, probably more because they're guys and they talk on the phone a little bit more. Okay. And is it for you, um, well, you were saying you were at home, uh, raising your kids, doing normal stuff. Um, did you ever uh, think you wouldn't return? Yes, I certainly did. I often thought, hmm, I wonder if I'll return. Because life's very fragile, you never really know what's going to happen. You know, you don't know whether you're going to get sick or anything. Yeah. You can't take it, anything for granted. I mean, and that's the truth about life. So you kind of really have to enjoy every day that you wake up and you're healthy and uh, your family are healthy, you know, you and really what, have to. And what then triggered you to, well, to actually think, well, maybe I'm going to release a new... Well, it just, it was like a journey and I was just taking the journey without thinking about it. And I'd write a song and I'd write a song and I'd write a song and I'd write a song. And then I'd get um, Dan, the co-producer, to come to my house. He operated the Pro Tools and all that stuff, you know. And we put down the songs and developed them. And when we got about six or seven songs, <clears throat> then we'd take them into the big studio in Toronto and um, get the players to come in and play on them, you know. Um, and I kept doing this until I got to about, uh, I suppose I must have recorded maybe 25 songs. Uh, and then um, <clears throat> I started thinking, you know what, I should really kind of slap an album together now and put these songs out there. But so. how, how come you still record it? It was for you, it was just fun to do, to record songs, not with an album Because it's fun to record, yeah, okay, yeah, it's yeah, experimenting, it's like, yeah. I started painting as well, yeah, for okay. the last four years, um, acrylic on canvas, so it's kind of like that, it's a fun thing, and it's a hobby, so, mm -hmm. you know, and recording is fun then, because you get to hear it, because when you're, you've got an idea in your head, but it's like, it's just an idea, I'm singing with a guitar, or I'm singing with a piano, but I need to hear the drums, I need to hear the bass, I need to develop it, so, because it's, it's what I do, I'm an artist. And it's for you, because I think there are a few more uh, experimental tracks on the album. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, for me, uh, In the Garden and Black Widow. Are very experimental, yeah. yeah. And, and I loved that, I mean, that's so much fun. Especially when you're coming from, I suppose, doing a lot of drum, bass and guitar and, you know, straightforward rock and roll songs. Yeah. Well, here I was trying to branch out and go to places I'd never gone before and just kind of really experiment. And of course, having Pro Tools, is very beneficial then because it's cheap right and it's no pressure and it's in your house so you don't have to go and stay in a hotel and leave your family right you have this downstairs so it's very handy you get to be at home cook the dinner and then after making the dinner and everybody eats the dinner I go oh I'm gonna go downstairs now I got an idea and then you can go actually I got this really crazy idea let's try it because you've no pressure and you're not in the big studio and you're not wasting big time you see yeah. because it's so cheap you know so it could really try everything. And sometimes we'd try something and we'd put it down and we'd go, nah, let's take it away again. So you'd take it away. And then we'd go, let's try this though. And you'd try that, and, nah, okay, take that away. Let's try this though. So with Pro Tools, it's brilliant because you've got like so much access to all these different sounds and these different instruments. So it's a lot of fun. But isn't it sometimes uh, difficult too because you have this enormous amount of, uh, well, experimental thing you can do, but how do you stay focused on the actual song? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do, um, do you still know you, what the song needs then? You feel it. Okay. You feel it, you know what I mean? You know when you're going too far, like, because it's like, you know what, we're going too far. So you feel it, and that's the fun of it all. It's all about, like, expressing your your ideas and your music, and, and your music kind of symbolizes a lot of your character, you know what I mean? So it's a fun thing to do. It'll so, always be fun. I'll always like making music. So you feel now more freedom, I think? Yeah. 
probably artistically kind of it's it's a, a new experience. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Is it for you? Um, well, what instruments did you extra use? Because I think there were some 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 uh, key keyboards and well, yeah, folks there's, on the there's Black keyboards Widow. and 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 the guy who co-produced with me, he put in kind of different shakers and sequencers and stuff like that, like yeah. these kind of things, <laughs> just little things, ambient, you know, just to create the atmosphere and that's stuff true, like yeah. that. I like that, you know, that's fun. <laughs> 